Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the Find and Replace feature in SPSS. So I have here a fictitious data set that I used for comparison of ANOVA and the Kruskal Wallace test. And it has an ID variable and a treatment variable. And this has three levels, individual, group, and treatment as usual, and then a score on a depression inventory and this data set contains 45 records. So the find and replace feature allows us to enter a search parameter and then SPSS will identify all of the values that match that search parameter given the settings that we put in place in the dialog. So First, I'll show you the dialog. So if we go to uh, where I am now, where I'm just at a, in a uh, column that doesn't have any values, so this is a, not a variable, and I go to Edit, you can see that Find and Replace, so Control-F and Control-H, are grayed out. So if I try to use those hotkeys here, it will not bring the dialog up. So I move over to Depression, so now I'm active on a cell in the depression variable. I go back to edit and you can see that both find and replace are available. So you have to be in a variable, active in a variable, or select the whole variable to have the find and replace dialog as an option. So here I'm going to hit control F because I'm in the depression variable. And you can see it brings up find and replace data view. And one tab here is find, and that's yellow, so that's the one that's active. The one that's blue is the one that's inactive in the background, and that's replace. So you can see find and replace. You can use either function from this dialog. So let's just take a look at find first. So if you, you can see we have a find text box. If you move down, you see show options. Click on that, and it'll give you more options. And you can see that what's active here in terms of the variable or the column is depression. So if I were to move over to treatment, you see that changes. In ID, that changes again. So it's only going to search in that column. So moving back to depression, this variable has been set to contain scale level data. So in this case, we have all numbers. So let's say that some sort of entry error took place where the value 21 really should have been entered as 25. So I go here and find, and I enter 21. You can see there is no match case option available. Now if I move over to treatment, and let's say that, well, of course I wouldn't be looking for 21 here, but let's say I'm looking for a group, I type in group, you can see there is a match case option here. Treatment is a nominal variable, categorical, whereas depression is a scale level variable. So then moving back, I'm going to put in 21, and if I hit find next, you can see it brings up the record 4, that has a value of 21, hit it again and it brings up record 14. And if I click it a third time, now there's only two values here that are 21. So if I click it a third time, it brings up this dialog that says the search string 21 was not found. So I click OK. So I know I have only the two occasions here, record 4 and record 14. So now demonstrating this match to frame down here, Let's say that the, now the, the first coding error that I mentioned would have been if 21 was entered, and that should have been 25. So for that, we would go and we'd enter in 21 and replace with 25 here in the replace. But let's say that it was all of the values that begin with a 2. Let's say that the minimum score on this instrument that was measuring depression was 30. So now I could just put in 2 and then go to begins with and hit find next 
and it's going to identify all of the values that begin with 2. So that would be, in this case, all the values that are between 20 and 29. And then again, I could do the same thing. I go over here to replace and show options 2, and then begins with, and I would just enter in 30 here, and click replace all. But what if the coding error was uh, different in another way? What if it was every value that ended in a 4 that needed to be adjusted in some way? Now again, I'm using both find and find and replace here, but really you don't need to use uh, the find tab. Uh, everything that the find tab has is contained in the replace tab. But I did want to demonstrate how that works, so I showed you both there. But if we're in replace here and we're interested in the values that end in 4, we would change find to 4. I'm just going to delete the value for replace with for now. And then ends with, as you can see, identifies uh, 54, which is record 41, and identifies 34 up here. So it's finding all of the values that end with a 4. And you could do the same thing. You could replace with whatever value you wanted by inputting it here. So that takes care of the begins with and ends with options, but what about the contains and entire cell options? What do they do? So to demonstrate uh, this functionality, I'm going to move over to treatment. You can see the column will change here to treatment because I moved over. And I'm going to use the treatment as usual level of the independent variable because it has three words, treatment as usual, and it's good for demonstrating uh, the contains and entire cell features. So let's say here, we won't worry about the case, I'm just going to put in treatment. So find treatment and match to contains. I click find next and it's going to find treatment as usual. Now if I click entire cell and then I click find next, SPSS indicates that the search string treatment was not found because it has to match exactly, right? So the find, the value in the find field up here would have to read treatment as usual, not just treatment. Another aspect I want to demonstrate here is the idea between the label that's displayed and the actual value behind the label. So if we move up here, and we can leave this dialog open as we do this, if we move up here to the A1 key, you can see that treatment is 0, 1, or 2. There's just these labels uh, that have been put in individual, group, and treatment as usual. And the best way to see that is in the variable view. So I move over here, and again, I don't even need to close the find and replace dialog here. Uh, you can see that under values for the treatment variable, that I have 0 equals individual, 1 is code to group, and 2 to treatment as usual. So when we find and replace here, the data view, we can find these values. For example, if I type in group here, and again, I'm not going to worry about matching case. I'm just going to use all lowercase and click find. It's going to find the labels, the group labels. But if I attempted to replace with a, another value, for instance, instead of group, let's say I want to say group counseling to make it more precise and then I click replace. Now SPSS is indicating that the search string group was not found. So to make this type of substitution, this type of find and replace, you would need to go to the variable view and go to the, the variable treatment, then values, and then open this dialog and change value 1 to group counseling. You'd have to type in group counseling here it cannot be changed through the find and replace. 
The numeric values behind the labels, however, can be modified with find and replace. So again, I'm going to go back to A1 to bring up the numeric values. You have 0, 1, and 2. So if I want to find 0, and, I and I'll just delete the uh, group counseling here out of replace, replace with, you can see it's going to find the values that are zeros. And I want to replace that with the treatment as usual. So that's, that's 2. I'll put 2 in here. And you can see this is the 13 is the record that's currently highlighted. I click replace and it's going to change 13. And now if I click A1 you can see that's listed as treatment as usual. Now if I move back up here to say record 5 and click replace, it will of course make that adjustment as well. But an easier way would be just to type in the value that we want. So we'll go to say record 10 and type in 2 and it does the same thing. So the real value of find and replace in this situation would be to use replace all. To replace all of the zeros with the value 2. And you can see here that I left the match to as entire cell but in this case because these numeric values are just 0, 1, and 2 I could use contains and it would still find the 0. I could use begins with still going to find it or ends with and have the same result. So the find and replace functionality is useful for locating specific values and particularly useful for replacing several values with another value. If you're just replacing one or two, it may be easier just to go in, almost certainly would be easier just to go in and change it in the variable. But if you need to replace, say, five or 10 or 20, the replace all would be a more efficient method. I hope you found this video on using the find and replace feature in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.